Uh, hello, everyone, yep. and, and welcome to another edition of the National Soccer Coach Association of Canada Behind the Bench. Uh, I'm very happy today to, to uh, invite back our, a friend of our association and a friend and a colleague of mine that I met three years ago when we hosted our very first uh, convention, uh, Joao Arroso, who was the keynote speaker um, uh, at that convention. And, and you know, many of you, uh, perhaps even some of you that have logged in now might remember you know, he did a full day and a half of, of, of technical sessions on the field, uh, classroom sessions and questions and answer and, and, and all of that and, and spoke about, um, uh, you know, his experience. Uh, again, you know, of course, he is the former assistant coach uh, of the Portuguese men's national team. Uh, more recently, he was uh, the manager of the Moroccan under 20 men's team. He's been uh, a head coach and assistant coach in, in, in many different professional clubs uh, in Portugal, including uh SC Braga. Uh, he's a color commentator uh, in, in, on Sport TV in Portugal, and he's a lecturer at the University of Lisbon, uh, a fellow uh, sports scientist <laughs> like me. So um, uh, welcome again, Joao. It's great to see you. Thank you very much, Richard. Um, good afternoon, um, everyone. Uh, it's a big pleasure uh, to be with you again. Honestly, uh, was great um, the, the experience that I had in uh, 2019 in Toronto um, was was really good. Was short but very intense. I really appreciate the experience. So it's um, it's good when people uh, call us back. Uh, it means. Um, it, it means something good, I think, something uh, that we, we left something positive. Um, so uh, here I am again. Sorry for this um, misunderstanding from, uh, from me in, in the, the time, uh, a confusion with um, the, the time zone, the correspondence uh, to the time in Portugal. And uh, I, was, I thought it was at 6 p.m. in Portugal and in fact, uh, was scheduled to 7 p.m. So sorry, my apologies for that. That's all good. No, no worries at all. And as I said, it's it's, it's great to have you back. And and I know, I mean, I, you know, I, even myself having been there, I I, I really enjoyed uh, your presentations. And I think, you know, someone who has uh, you know that much experience and and, and also uh, not just experience as as a coach and obviously very good on the field and everything, but I thought you were a really good uh, a good teacher as well. And you can see that, you know, you have that experience in lecturing and, and, and you know, on top of it, that, that you did it in English, which is not your first language. And yeah, I'm sure uh, I'm sure it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. But, yeah, it was great. And, and we had such a good response. Unfortunately, you know, because of COVID, we haven't gotten around to doing a second convention. But we are actually talking about perhaps later this year or, or early next year. And, and, and you never know. Maybe we'll see you, see you back there again. So, so... Thank you. With, yeah, with uh, with everything um, like that out of the way, I know I, I'll let you know, Joao, that I've, I've I've made you a co-host here. So if you wanted to, um, you know, to share your uh, your screen, you can. Yes. Uh, yes. Because okay. the topic today is about okay. uh, developing uh, a game model yes. and uh, how the game model is used in, uh, in a coach and team organization. And so, if you've got that here, I'll I'll, I'll let you you know go ahead and, and get started, and maybe I'll just kind of. I'll be listening and, and, and I'll be, you know, coming, uh, chiming in with some questions here and there when I think it's appropriate, but I'll, I'll let everyone else know as well. Uh, like all of our uh, webinars here, you know, Joao is presenting, but please feel free. We want to make it interactive. If you want yes. to ask questions, use the chat box or use the little uh, Q&A feature and I'll do my best to screen them and, and we'll get through as many, uh, you know, of your questions uh, as we can. So uh, Joao, I'll let you get started and, and, you know, talk to us about, uh, about the role of the game model. Okay, uh, very well. So um, to start uh, directly to the to the subject, um, my idea about about coaching, about the, the, the how I think the training process, how I think the um, the game of uh, football, soccer, uh, as you understand, you will listen to me to, to to mention football because we are used to and not and not soccer, but uh, it's the same. Um, and uh, uh, th this, my ideas um, uh, about this lay on the complexity sciences framework uh, and the dynamic systems theory. Um, as you, as I uh, wrote here, uh, I see the process as, as a whole, as something that is 
indivisible, something uh, that is connected with everything. Um, for example, the player, the player uh, himself is um, a hyper complex uh, structure uh, and interacts all the time with his context, the team, which is even more complex. Um, with his action, the player influences the team and the team, of course, regulates the action of the player. Uh, so, what is really um, a system? We speak normally about the tactical system, the, um, the, the system of play. Um, should we call to the, the 433, the 442, whatever, a tactical system? I honestly prefer to, 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 to denominate uh, structure tactical structure, because uh, these numbers represent uh, a structure, but then there are uh, a, net, a net of involvement between the players, uh, the relationships between, between them uh, that I would say represent uh, the, um, the, um, the system. Uh, all the interactions between the players. Um, this, uh, the game, the game uh, has some demands uh, to, the, to the players. The game is, uh, uh, has a characteristic of unpredictability and the way we deal with this unpredictability uh, is uh, trying to uh, have some dynamic balance, to have some order to, uh, to deal with the unpredictability. And this order, this idea of, uh, of harmony, of dynamic balance is given by the structure of the game model. So here is the game model, okay? So, uh, is, uh, how is, um, um, uh, the game model is um, made about the ideas that we have, the concepts, the tactical concepts that we have, the behaviors that we want uh, the, the, to observe in the team, uh, to give some regulation uh, to the game and to control this unpredictability. Okay, so after this introduction, uh, introduction, a little more abstract, but to uh, let you understand how I see um, in the theoretical basis uh, the, the training process, we will move forward. Thank you for watching this short preview video from the National Soccer Coaches Association of Canada. To see the full video, plus have access to hundreds of other coaching videos, blogs, webinars, and podcasts, plus free and discounted coach education courses and other soccer merchandise, plus to have exclusive access to register for all future NSCAC conventions, both live and online, click on the link below to become a member of the NSCAC today. Also, please remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel as your continued support allows us to continue to provide coach education and coach development resources to soccer coaches across Canada and worldwide. Thank you again for your continued support and we look forward to seeing you at future NSCAC events.